Hello guys, this is a quick tutorial about how to add a new database user for your MongoDB Atlas database. In here you can see I have my project name called authentication and I have created a cluster here already using the free tier and inside uh, I have uh, my databases and what you can do to add a new user to your, your database is you have to go to this database access tab, you have to click it and here I have all my uh, database users and here you can click add new database user and from this uh, pop-up you can select all the necessary usernames and password for your new database user so I can I'm going to go with this authentication method password and here we have certificate method and AWS again uh, method as well uh, but I'm going to go with the password method and here I'm going to add the username of the new user. I will go with Lanka123 and uh, a new password. So I'm going to auto generate this password and copy it and save it somewhere else. And here we can give roles. And I'm going to go with add in built in roles. Uh, here we have the Atlas admin role where it has all the privileges. And here in the second one, you have read and write uh, access only. And in third, you have only the read uh, database, uh, read only database access. So what you can do is like, I'll go with this uh, read and write. And what you can do is after creating this user for your MongoDB connection URL, you can add this user. So that particular user can only do the given uh, functions related to this given uh, built-in role and also we have we can create custom roles also as you can see this option uh, I'm not going to explore that part here so and also we can restrict access uh, for based on the clusters so in my project I have only cluster zero but if you have other clusters added as well you can define the access for separate users for separate clusters and you can restrict them and also there's an option called temporary user where in here after one day or one week or six hours the access for the newly created user will be terminated automatically so that's also an option that you can click so if you are going to give a temporary access for a particular user you can go with this temporary user uh temporary user uh, function given so here are the basic things that you guys should not in here i will select all the clusters no use of doing it so and you can see my new uh, access is new database user is added for my uh, atlas database so that's how you can add a new database user to an already existing database. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.